Welcome to Major Mixing Educational Series. In this video, I'll walk you through how to properly prepare and export your multitrack for mixing in Reaper. Let's dive in. Open your project in Reaper and save a new version of your project. Go to File, Save Project As, add for mixing at the end of the file name and save it in the same folder. This will ensure you keep your original file intact. Name your tracks clearly. Proper track naming helps the mixing engineer easily navigate your project. Use clear and descriptive names like Kick, Lead Vocal, Guitar One. Avoid such names as Audio 01 or Track 05. Before proceeding, ensure the vocals are properly tuned and the instruments are time aligned. If you need help with this, we provide these services. If you feel your instruments or samples don't meet the desired standard, please consult our manager. We also offer sample replacement and instrument re-recording services. Now let's return to the project export. If you have multiple tracks for the same instrument or vocal part, combine them into one consolidated track. For lead vocals, keep them separated by song sections. Lead verse, lead chorus, lead bridge. Turn off non-essential effects. EQ, compression, and reverb, unless they're essential to your sound. If you've designed a specific effect that defines the track or have an amp simulation on your guitars, duplicate the track, label one version as track name dry for the track without effects, and label the other as track name wet for the track with effects. Check your master fader to ensure your project isn't clipping. Select all tracks by clicking the top track first, then holding down the Shift key and clicking the bottom track. Press play and check the master output. You can find it in the left side of the mixer window. Adjust the faders until the master peaks around minus 6 dB. This gives the mixing engineer plenty of headroom to work with. Now it's time to export your multitrack files. Select all tracks and go to File, Render. Set source to selected tracks, stems, and bounce to entire project. In the output field, select the browse button and select browse the directory. Choose the desired directory, create a new folder named after your song and include the tempo in the folder name. For the file name field, enter dollar sign track. This command ensures that each exported track is named as you set in the project. Set the sample rate to 44,100 or 48,000. Move to the primary output format tab. Set format to WAV and WAVBit DEF to 24-bit PCM. In the large files field, choose AutoWAV slash WAVE64. Finally, click the Render button to export your tracks. Before sending, verify everything is correct. Create a new project and import your exported files. Press play and ensure all tracks are present and aligned correctly. If everything sounds good, you're ready to send it off. Place your multi-track folder in a zip file and upload it to major mixing when you place your order. Thanks for watching. See you next time.